the dawn of existence, human beings have indulged in the purest, most primal form of physical exercise. From our earliest ancestors, the monkeys, right through to the modern day hetero sapiens, we are now one single physical act has shaped the way we all live our lives today. Sir Roger Bannister, Steve Cram, Dwayne Chambers, Liz McCaughan, four seemingly unrelated individuals, all linked by one common factor, the ability to put one foot in front of the other at high speed, faster than anyone else. Some people are born into greatness, some people have greatness thrust upon them, and some people run towards greatness at breakneck speed, semi-erect and smoking a Marlboro as they go. Jackie has three main passions in life. Running, obviously. He's a massive darts fanatic and he also takes great pleasure in being the president for the Rosher Fan Club for the 1978 film Convoy. He approaches each of these with the single-minded ferocity of a stalking panther. You see, the great thing about Convoy is it took the world's greatest invention, CB radio, and it made it popular on a global level. And it was pretty much the original mobile phone, except you couldn't choose who you spoke to. Sometimes you spoke to, like, uh, a butter reconstructionist, maybe sometimes you spoke to a baker, or maybe sometimes you spoke to a pitiful truck driver, maybe driving down the West Coast. But they're all right. You know, sometimes they were harmless, because, you know, you could only speak to them and stuff, and they couldn't touch you, and that's okay. It was the 80s. I've been Jackie's coach now for almost four years. Started off taking him to his running events after he got banned for drink driving, and I just took it from there, really. Athletics has been running in my family's blood for a long time. I was a bit of a track star myself back in the day, but it didn't really work out for me for a number of reasons. My fiancée at the time, she was raped by some Egyptian students. And then I went blind for a year after drinking Terps. Then there was the whole eczema thing. It was just one big smelly steamer on top of another. But now I'm back in the big league. I'm back on top with Jackie Reed. This year's Raymond. He's my brother-in-law. He's a welder to trade, but work's really thinned out around here recently. My sister was getting well fed up with him kicking about the house, so we asked him if he wanted to join the team as official timer. He's doing a great job. We're delighted to have him on board. There's three things you need to become a top athlete. Discipline, focus and determination. And speed. He's right, actually. Speed is very important, especially for a runner. And my God, does Jackie have speed. I mean, he's certainly not the most graceful of athletes. He smokes far too much with somebody with diabetes, and he's got webbed feet. But my God, that boy has the lung capacity of a racehorse, and he can keep that level of speed and intensity up all day long, from morning till night, and then some. Preparation for a typical day's training, kick off early doors, probably around 11 a.m. Jackie will get up, he'll have a quick wash. Then I'll prepare Jackie a quick power shake. You know, these are good for energy and muscle development. We put pretty much everything in these shakes. Milk, bananas, eggs, power shake powder, and some ham. And then a wee splash of vodka, just to keep the blood pumping. There you go, Jack, the lad. Get that down the arch, boy. Then it's straight down the cafe for some serious brain food, also known as the big three protein, <sighs> carbs, and salt. Jackie's not too big on preparation or warming up. Never has been. It's not his style. The way he sees it, limbering up's for chicks and queers. Couldn't 
couldn't believe it when we heard that Jackie had made the squad for the 10,000 meters. That sort of thing doesn't happen to people from around here. Proper surreal. The locals have really taken the Jackie's news, especially during this credit crunch. It's raised everyone's spirits, you know what I mean? Local boy done good and all that. When it was announced that Jackie had gotten into the Olympic squad, we got a call from Don offering his services as a sports psychologist. Most of the top sports stars in the world are using psychology these days, so we thought, why not? It can't hurt, can it? Human beings have been running faster than shit for hundreds of years now. The reason our bodies are shaped the way they are is because of running. Back in the earliest days of man, when we were scavengers on the African plains, Humans had to evolve into long distance runners in order to seek out food. Sports psychology, it's no for pussies gentlemen. Let me say that right from the off. You think you've come here, swing your dicks in the chip shop window. You're sadly mistaken. I swear to God, I'm not fucking about here. I will carve your skin off Buffalo Bell style and wear you at the goddamn boat show. Right? Psychology and racing go hand in hand with evolution. Can any of you boys tell me what race has been kicking ass for the last hundred years? Eh, uh, the sock race. <laughs> sock race, eh? I'm not going to pretend I get that, but I like what you've shown. It's cohesion, which is one of the main factors in sports psychology. It's with this cohesion that you as a group are going to succeed in your quest to Olympic glory. That's a really impressive tip. <laughs> well, thank you. That means a lot to me, though. <laughs> it does. That tip. That tip was. <laughs> You're on it, eh? Right. Second factor in sports psychology is visual imagery. You've got to visualise the moment where you cross the line. Mental physical and metaphorical lines. Visualise. With me? Visualise yourself becoming a golden god. King amongst men. Prince amongst thieves. Can you do that, boy? Conversation with yourself when you're running. You've got to say motivational shit like, "Watch out for that tree, Jackie. Run faster. Don't fall in that paddle, Jackie. And all that. Yeah. Positive mental athletics. Yeah. And lastly, you've got to well take criticism. You've got to have something you can take the good and the bad. You know. You've got to say, like, for example, Raymond, give Chucky something you can, you know, a bit of criticism, something you can work with and build upon. Uh, I think your sister steals students from her work. <laughs> the main competition in Team GB is probably Mo Farah, but the overall threat probably comes from the Ethiopian lad Bekele. He's the current world record holder, 
and he's won gold in the last two Olympics. Not that that worries us. Jack has beaten the world record three times in the last week. Seriously, three times. But if it's not an official race, it doesn't count. First time on Monday, beat it by about 45 minutes. But we suspect that that was down to timing issues. Life hasn't always been a bunch of flowers for Jackie. He's had a real tough time growing up, so he has. His father, well, he died about three years before he was born. And then when he was about 14 years old, his mum ran away with a bunch of hippies that she met at an R.E.M. concert. So, from an early age, he's really had to beg, steal and borrow his way through life, whilst also looking after his kid sister Karen, who's a right little troublemaker by all accounts. But, I'll tell you what, while some men break, others, like Jackie, break records. Jackie's a fighter, a soldier of misfortune. He's your archetypal lone renegade in a city of injustice who, as luck would have it, has the power and speed of a runaway freight train. The Olympics, that's his future, his destiny. The name Jackie Reed will echo through the pages of history. Jackie is living proof that with hard work, discipline and an inhaler, you can rise up and be more than you ever thought you could be. As the great scholar Audrey Hepburn once said, nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. We've been given the golden ticket here, Jackie. The rest is up to us. You only get one shot of glory in life. I've had mine and I didn't take it. But you, you can go on and do great things. Jackie, you are my redemption. I don't know where I'd be without Carl steering the ship along like. Certainly not in the GB Olympic squad. Uh, I'd probably still be like running about in the field super fast. Uh, just like a maniac that I usually do. But uh, Carl's been like sorting it all out behind the scenes, like uh, filling out the forms and getting me into competitions, like, and uh, providing urine samples, which is like, that was a big thing. And uh, sometimes I think he wants me to win more than I do, actually. On your cell, boy. Come really fast, Jackie. You have a hell. Hey, your sister owes me 35 quid. I will not cease from mental fight, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand Woo! till we have built Jerusalem in Scotland's green and pleasant land.